What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? We got the midseason. Uh, <sighs> midseason, man. God, I hate these dead, midseason brother. things. This midseason, like, why is this the new TV norm? Anyway, yeah, well, we, we did it. We got through it. Um, you you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? <laughs> I mean, to start off, I really, I, I felt the the episode was really suspenseful from the beginning. There was a lot of cool camera shots in this in this episode, a lot of similar music that maybe were little um, uh, kickbacks of of music that music throwbacks, that they used, yeah. yeah, little throwbacks of what they uh, they used in in past seasons. But I mean, I enjoyed it. I know we spoke a little bit before we we started recording and. Um, I don't know how uh, how great you felt about it, so maybe you should start with with uh, the reasoning behind that. Well, I'll tell you, I'm wearing a red shirt on a blue background, and you're wearing a blue shirt on a red background. Again. And that always happens, doesn't it? I like it? it though; it looks cool. Um, man, okay, uh, this I did not think this was one of their stronger uh, fin- finales, considering we get two a year now. I didn't yeah. think that this was one of their strong ones. I know it's only mid season, but still. I, I wasn't I wasn't that impressed. Suspenseful? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, why? I, I, why I weren't you impressed? Chris? Well, I don't think it was any any more suspenseful than other episodes have been. But you know what? It was basically that it just reminded me of last season. Like it was like, oh, this is the same thing that's happening oh. last season with Negan oh. knocking on the on Alexandria's door. Yeah, kind of that thing. I mean, and and also you know and dude it, and and. Let's just get right into Carl, all right? So, okay, obviously, whoever, if you guys are watching, listening to this, you've seen the episode, you know Carl was bitten, all right? Yes. I'm going to spoil the comics also. So, three, two, one, here comes spo- comic spoilers. He doesn't die in the comic, and he's a cool character in the comic, and he's still growing, and he doesn't wear the hat, and he has, a, and he has like, slick back combed long hair, and he's, he doesn't have a, a patch over his eye anymore. He, you know, and, like... He's a, he's a really cool character. I enjoyed this version of Carl as well, uh, especially Me this too. episode. Me too. Right where he where he you know he grow he has the chutzpah to stand up to to Negan and um I mean I just okay they didn't I guess I'm ranting but they didn't like you there was no inkling as to all all of a sudden he's bitten. Like I had to be like, wait, when the hell did that happen? Yeah. My wife and I, like, the last time we saw him, he was hiding underneath this in the sewer. Then he's bitten, and we're like, I guess it was when he was in the woods, like six episodes ago. I guess. Well, yeah, it was a few episodes ago. I mean, maybe two episodes ago or so. You know what's funny? Because I was telling you this, I had that written in my notes, and I'm pretty sure I didn't mention it when we recorded. I think we did because actually. Now that I, I may think have. About, I don't know. You guys. I don't know if we know. said it on the camera or if we said it off camera, but we yeah. like did. Come Get bit. I think we because there was just something. there was just a lot of a lot of the way he he maybe looked at himself. I can't exactly I know tell you yeah, why, I know but saying, yeah. it was just I, something I mean, like hmm. Yeah, and then right off the bat, let's go right to the beginning of the episode where you see Carl sitting down and he's writing the letter to his dad. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh man. Oh wait, which, now that makes some sense. <laughs> which he has no. <laughs> now that makes some. I'm like the way he spelt dad. How like. Third grade, like yeah, what? I was like, like, what? I don't know. I never seen anybody write a G. Yeah, I never seen anybody write a G. The A too. The A was like an open A. I was like, is he like brain dead? He's been in the apocalypse for a long time, but that's really weird. Never thought about that. Yeah, because he was uh, a kid learning. I mean, obviously, he would have learned how to write already. He was what eight years old. Maybe I think he was probably around there. Maybe eight, ten. No, I don't think he can be that. But still, you know how to write. Regardless, I just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, and of weird, course, yeah. one one of my favorite parts about Carl this episode, and I I enjoyed the episode. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. It's just... Well, we use we use that word suspense and suspenseful for this episode. And anytime Negan knocks at your door, and the rest of the saviors, the other lieutenants are are, are stopping Maggie on the road on their way to to meet up with everybody and, and everybody in the kingdom, you know, it's 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 very suspenseful for me. Even though it's something repetitive that we've seen quite a bit. But anyway, with the whole call thing. I enjoyed that Carl was pretty much saying, like, you guys are going to listen to my plan. This is what we're going to do, blah, blah, blah. He had a whole oh, plan. Oh, yeah, and, obviously, yeah. And it was like... He didn't. He wasn't afraid to die. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and that makes all the sense to it, especially when he's sense, talking yeah. to Negan, which the Negan dialogue back and forth, I thought was Yeah, that was, that was cool. cool. Like that. He's like, you want to die? He's like, no, but I will. 
he's like, I'm going to die. Yeah. And then it's like, obviously watching it back a second time after knowing what happens in the end, it all comes to fruition. But right, it's, yeah. yeah, it's kind of sad in a way. Um, oh, it's really I, sad, man. My wife and I are know, like, are you kidding me? Like, that is ridiculous. How do you feel about it? Tell me how you feel about it. I'm kind of excited. It's 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 bittersweet in a way. I wasn't a big fan of Carl. I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of Carl and his acting skill and everything like that because you really can't compare his acting to some younger younger actors and and other shows. Um, but it's it's just I'm wondering what we're going to see from Carl because obviously he's not dead yet. So what kind of heroic way is he going to go out? You know what I mean? That's what I'm I'm expecting him to do something that's going to be pivotal in winning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is he going to kill Negan? Is he going to do something as far as sacrificing himself well, to to win a, a particular battle or something huge? You know what I mean? There's like, going to be something that um, is going to be a huge moment for him before he... I don't croaks. think he'll turn or anything like no, that. No, they'll get him maybe... before he turns. But now you just brought up a fact, though. The fact yeah. that they're going to kill off Carl, because he's dead. He's he's yeah. dead. Oh, but absolutely. the fact that they're going to kill him off means they're just not going to follow the comic in this then. Because no. obviously, okay, no. obviously, look, we already know that they're not following the comic in in de in like minute details. But yeah the broad strokes they're following, right? So the war with Negan, all this stuff. So I guess they're doing their own thing. I don't agree with killing Carl. Um, I just I just don't. I just don't. It was a character that I wanted to see. I didn't want to see him go out still wearing the hat. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to see yeah. him grow and have all that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I know. They I just like gave it. just enough. They give like us it. just enough by him finally saying, you know, stepping up. And then... Yeah. Well, now, now we know why he stepped up, right? Exactly. Uh, so exactly. Yeah. So that sucks. I mean, we could spend a whole suck. hour I mean, on that. But let's yeah, just, there's really there's a few other things we need to talk about. One, let's talk about stupid Enid and Aaron. I don't even know why did you even put that in the show. That was so dumb. Like, oh, they made this big show of going to get. Oh, hey, we we got a social graces and all. Let's yeah, we'll bring something. And then she just shoots the grandma. Like, I get it. I understand. <laughs> I understand that, like, okay, it just shows that she's an inexperienced person. She's, yeah. You, you're bringing Aaron, Aaron in his in his grief didn't realize that this girl is not is not someone to go out with, and it obviously proved right there. He learned it big time there. But I you mean, know what, listen, though? he they had no weapons, so obviously they yeah. know that they didn't have any. You know, they didn't have weapons. The one girl had like a pitchfork, or you know what I mean. So, so for like you said, the inexperience really. Told its told its and, tale. And there, do we yeah. care? Not Honestly, really. Honestly, do we care about what's going on with them? No. So not really. Screw them, it's over. I, I I don't even care about that. Let's talk about Dwight. That that was kind of cool. I enjoyed Dwight. He's in my in my likes part of my notes. Now you said you said you didn't think that he was gonna. You weren't sure if he was gonna do that. Like I knew he was gonna turn. Like I just assumed like this is where he's gonna. Oh, you mean turn on out. his people? Turn yeah. on his people? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, when when um. I forgot the name of the girl with the tattoo, the other savior that kind of oh, like. I always forget her cool. name. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, she was even questioning him right from me. Shouldn't we put the trucks here, the big trucks here? And oh, no, this will be, this, these cars will be. And then be they come bursting enough. through. And they come yeah. bursting through. Yeah. So obviously, we know that we've, we've known from the beginning what Dwight has been up to. But like you said, I, was, I wasn't necessarily sure that he was going to just turn around and just pop his own men like that. I figured you know, he would. I, thought that I was, saw it. I, I saw it happening because he was like, I'm like, watch, he's going to he's going to end up he's going to yeah. end up turning on them because she was calling him out on it. And he's yeah. and he that shot of him looking at his like newfound friends, I guess. Yeah. Um. How about this real quick? What do you think about the dialogue while they're waiting for them between um our, our alexandrian pals they're all trying to justify that what they did well what? yeah i mean i mean it probably would have just happened anyway like this i mean was it our fault well, well yeah. you know <laughs> i mean maybe but but like i said probably would have already had like yeah tara shut says up. That, shut tara all says of you it. shut up you are a morons and you did says, this this is your yeah, fault you did this it is your fault you it absolutely your... did this so shut the hell up they're trying to justify the exactly they're trying to justify what they and did and he says to him too D daryl says to dwight was it, was it was because it, of yeah it because of what I did? Yeah. And then and he's like, Well, well basically Eugene, he's yeah, like me and Eugene, Eugene, Eugene basically, yeah. Idiots. Yeah. 
Um, it is. It's it's uh, you know, luckily Carl didn't get injured in this in this war because then Daryl might have taken it that much worse. You know, it's it's funny because like you said, we've seen how Tara and 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 Daryl were just so upset about and questioning everything yeah. and Rosita kind of had their back a little bit. Rosita's like, nah, it probably would have happened, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But yeah, it's funny. But it's cool to see Dwight kind of now on, on our side. Well, and I'm with glad it happened group. finally. I like Dwight. Yeah. And and yeah. and again, spoiler for the comics, he, he ends up, you know, uh, I won't tell you. I won't spoil that. <laughs> um, but um, you're like, what? You already spoiled the other thing. Here's the thing. Before yeah. we, I want to talk about Mackie, but before we do that, I want to talk about some weird shit that they did. Like, there was some, like, I know they were trying to cut in on... So they 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 wasted a lot of time showing Aaron and Enid driving and chatting and and side profile shots. Yet, when it comes to the action, like all of a sudden, Rick, Jerry, and Carol are all in different cars and, we're, and they're driving close up and Jerry gets hit. Like, I'm like, it cut to them. I'm like, what? when did they even get in separate cars? Because last I saw, they were together. When did they then, ever go back? And then he goes back. Oh, so they went back to the... So we're supposed to deduce that he went back to the kingdom and Jerry said, I had a bounce. He left a note for Ezekiel. And it's like... And then Ezekiel, like... What? Like, what are you doing? Like, he, you're blowing <laughs> shit up and then... And then he brings the bus out and, and then they all scatter. And I was like... I know. Oh. I, I was expecting them to like, jump on the, the bus. I thought right? he was going to be like, get on the bus, y'all. And then <laughs> they drive off. Nope. He runs away and then gets himself captured. Like, this is... I mean, it was like a saving just, my people. Yeah, kind but... Of a thing. Like, I'll do something to save my but people. Just for, just for the sake of getting him in the hands of the saviors. Like, this is what I'm yeah. saying. Like, they, yeah. some, you, I feel like they spent more time on things that don't mean anything as opposed to developing some of the other stuff. And I don't... I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Yeah. I'm glad Jerry didn't get killed, at least not yet. That um, was that that kind of bothered me that whole Jerry thing because this poor guy in the back I wrote his name his name was Neil the guy that was in the back yeah, with Neil, Maggie and the, Jesus. the red shirt mm -hmm. so I wrote red shirt too next to the notes but yep. it, it's just funny because out of all the people that they could have just shot I know they shot the random they shot the poor hilarious. guy in the back. like what the fuck is it? I mean you could have shot Jerry I or, said I said that was um I said that guy looked I was saying in my head I was like that guy looks like uh like uh, Daryl's like cousin or something like he was like I yeah, he said he said, he said like one word yeah. one line or something too yeah. like damn right or whatever the hell he said yeah poor guy gets gets shot um, on on the road but. so but you're right you said it we were talking off camera and you had said like Maggie did Maggie went along with it for yeah. the time being well she was uh, smart she was smart I mean she's the only other one that I feel like you know um you know like that I don't know. Well, I enjoyed Maggie. It's we haven't seen well, somebody's too doing much. something, right? Yeah, Some, she goes she, back and shoots one of these assholes, and it's like good. And she writes on there, "We have thirty-eight more back down or whatever." Yeah, and this other dude that's in the the, the other dude, the other savior prisoner, is shocking, like Maggie. Please, you don't want to do it. like who the fuck are you, dude? Shut up. You know? Um, bring these yeah, random was, characters. Oh, I got. I know. You know they're gonna do something with this guy. This savior dude is gonna end up saving them somehow. Something's gonna happen where here, the saviors that are trapped are gonna escape, and that one guy is gonna kind of save the day, kind of a thing. Look, you know, it, it, you know that's gonna happen. But it was just a breath of fresh air to finally see Maggie do in something. That kind right, of, yeah, yeah, and saying, "Listen, we're not gonna grow crops for these fucking guys. We're not gonna, you know." Um, uh, grow all this food and everything just to give it to the saviors. We're going to grow it because this is going to be his ours. Final yeah. Final stand. They expect survivors from Alexander from the kingdom. And this is where they're going to end up. And I think that's, I think that's what happens in the comic as well. After the bombing of Alexandria. So I yeah. think doesn't people don't, don't everybody move in. Cause I'm not that far, but I yeah, believe everybody yeah, yeah. comes. The survivors come to yeah. uh hilltop for a little while, but yeah. I mean, without drawing it out, Maggie, it was good to see Maggie in that role. And she was like an eye for an eye. Yeah. And, uh, um, so I got, we got to talk about the shitty Rick fight. Now, this is what pissed yeah. me off about that. Dude, oh it was God. shit. It was shit. shit Dude, he had, he had more, he had more, um, like there was more aggression in him. He had a, a when, when he fought the guy of the father of that baby, he tore that man apart. Like, and that man was bigger than Negan. And he like and he like really went after him. And then Negan, like, 
It's I, and then he gets on top of Negan and he just he pokes him once. Why did you well, poke I, him with the th- why? Like, man, I know you can't a, end it that part. way. I get it, but man, I'm sorry, but you just. That's a know. part of my dislikes. My my dislike about this whole thing. Now listen, I like the fight. I thought the scene when Rick hit Negan with that bowl. I thought the way Negan bowl or just a bell. It looked like a bell. No, it was it was um. I looked at it saying I don't that know. That was if great, it was yo. Like he, a, that was a KO right there. Yeah, and he did the way he took Negan that hit. Fell, he took right? that hit. He was like the oh. biggest. The biggest thing that I took out of that fight, which I enjoyed. I wish it was longer, but. It was when Negan, when Rick grabs the bat, when he grabs Lucille, he hits Lucille with the with the handle. The handle. That's what I'm saying. Why did you poke like, him? Dude, you, you could have smashed his fucking face. The hell is wrong? That's that's what pissed. And then he just lets himself get kicked. And I was and like, he, all right, yeah. I'm done. Get out of here. Just well, Rick was kind of fucked up in the beginning because Negan I don't care, hit him man. with some that's of the He you. hit him pretty pretty uh, bluntly in the, in the beginning. Yeah, but then there, he's but... mentioning his son. He's he's like talking shit about Carl. I would have been like, "You're dead." You, that's what I'm saying. He had more anger yeah. and aggression towards the man I who guess. he didn't even know that I'm he threw guess. into a wall. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, really? I I enjoyed it. I also enjoyed when like when Rick grabbed Lucille and and uh, Negan's like, "Get your hands off her." Yeah. You know, it was it was. Um, listen, I I I enjoyed the fight. I would have liked it to have been uh, longer. But how many more times is Rick going to get thrown out of a window? Yeah, look, I don't know, man. I'm and... I'm so I'm so half and half on this. Let me ask you this though. Yeah. Uh, let's wrap this up. Um, yeah. What do you you think people? Do you think they're going to lose viewers? You know, I think I, I think it depends on when you began the series. There's so many there's so many vessel uh, different different oh, ways. You think people came in not at the first season? Well, listen, some people didn't start. You can start a series in the third season or something now nowadays and just binge watch up until the present. So, if you're a, if you're a, then if why you're, not go to the first season then? No, what, what I'm saying is, say Walking Dead start is in season eight right now, right? Mm-hmm. So if if I didn't begin watching Walking Dead from season one and and say started it in season four, I can binge watch up to season four until I get. Well, that's my point. I feel yeah. like most people that watch the show or still watch the show. I think show, lifers. I think the lifer kind of people, the people that have to wait the year in between the series, the people that have to wait the months between the, the mid-seasons and the seasons, yeah. uh, finales and stuff. I think that it's um, it's tough for me. Would you, would you con- consider yourself just deciding to say, no, I'm not going to do this anymore? Not because we review the show, but just in general, if we didn't do this. Would you just decide ah, I'm not going to watch this anymore? I mean, you know what? Not until like the in like the past couple of years, I started saying that with shows, and it yeah. and it pains me because you know I get made fun of a lot by you know by some of our friends. It's like I, I like everything, like I like everything, and oh, Chris just likes everything. Oh yeah, you liked it, didn't you? And I was like, well, yeah, kind of, you know. But <laughs> but you know what? Because I always find something that I like in these. But you know what? Like I'm learning as I'm guess I, I guess I'm I'm getting older. Like my time is a lot more limited and precious to me. So I have to pick and choose. So if something's mm-hmm. not scratching an itch, you know, like for example, I, 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 the, the show, the strain yeah. is it's a series of books. Okay. And I, when the show started, I was like, Oh, this is great. You know, my wife and I, we both read the books like multiple times. or like, Oh, this is going to be great. It didn't turn out to be as good as the books. We made it up to like the third season. I was just like, I, I can't do this anymore. Like it's so, it was so far off. Not that it has to be like the book, but it was mm-hmm. just so like, I don't even know what, what are you doing on this thing? Like what? Yeah. I just had to stop watching it and it, and I'm going to go back to it eventually, but it just, it pains me to do that. And, and I don't yeah. want to do that with this show, but when it gets to a point where it's like, like if we weren't doing this show, if we weren't doing third person, I mean, it's the walking dead. So I probably <laughs> would, but if it's something else, maybe not. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm vested in the show. I know there's a lot of people, believe me, my friends included, I'm sure you have friends that feel the same way, that just decide, yeah, that um, it's dumb. Like, my brother hate watches it. He says, he goes, all right, I got to go hate watch The Walking Dead now. I'm like, well, then why watch it? He goes, because it's fun to hate on it. I'm like, okay. See, I I mean, I can't say that. I I actually enjoyed this this first half of of season eight. And, Um, um, you know, dude, I'm I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to 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 what's next. I just wanted to I, wrap this up now. Now I'm over it, dude. Now I just I enjoyed the first half of this half, yeah. right? I enjoyed the first like handful of episodes, like the first three or four, 
and yeah. that, and then then it just started for me going downhill mm-hmm. very very much like fear the walking dead i'm just like i can't i just want all that war to be over now and i want to move forward yeah so um well, well you know we'll wonder we'll, we'll see what's, what's gonna happen february i think the end of february the 25th or something like that right. 26th so, yeah. but yeah listen i mean in the end there were a lot of things that i liked about it. there was a couple little things i just want to mention really quick that that i didn't like and let me just see what you i'll, I'll just kind of well, go ahead man i've been like, ragging on it all episode You're yeah talking. um how about the explosions, the church exploding and everything? All these explosions from these bombs. Now, let me tell you something. Now, they're shooting these warheads, these bombs, these grenades, whatever the fuck they are. So everything is blowing from inside out as if, the you know, it's not like, it like it went through the roof and, yeah. and then fell and I, then blew out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um <laughs> Why that bothered me so much, but and then Carl's running, and then like the car just explodes, but you didn't see anything impact the car to make it explode, or the or the other houses exactly. The house just that I feel the same way, dude. Again, it's just they just did shit just to do it. Just I just thought that was a little. I thought that was a little odd. But one last thing that I that I enjoyed probably most of all in the whole episode is they they did a lot of they've they've been doing a lot of um like throwbacks from earlier and previous oh, seasons right, and right, stuff right. like that. And like I was telling you earlier, when Rick finally gets back into the sewer with Michonne and everybody like that, and he's looking through and he's passing all the the different faces and the different characters down there. You know, Dwight is new, Sadiq is new. So it's, well, that was kind of cool how they mirrored the first the beginning of the episode with the end of the episode with the images of the people and seeing where everybody's yeah. going and all that kind of stuff but one part that i really enjoyed was was when rick is is looking through the tunnel and he sees carl and he sees judith and the music sounded very similar to the original music from from the first uh season when yeah. when rick initially sees his family again for the first time when he sees Carl and he sees Lori and I it, I'm pretty sure it's the, there was the same music there I think maybe they changed a little here and mm-hmm. like a little added a little something but I really enjoyed that but it's it was sad for me to see that you saw Michonne jump drop to her knees and you see how much um she loves Carl and how you know they've been around each other for for a while now and yeah. there's not many of the original Atlanta group left I think there's only the three three left I think of Rick Carol, um, Rick. Carol and Daryl. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, I, I enjoyed that. And I'm, and like I said earlier, I'm just, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen with, with Carl. Cause I don't really think he's going to last more than this, this next episode, maybe just this one episode, but we're going to get flashback stuff. Yeah. It's, it, it was really interesting. And now there's going to be a big loss and there's going to be big rage built from, from Rick, even though Negan didn't do the, the put that wound there. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. going to be such a fire. And I think he really sees something in Carl that he won't be able to see because now this is his son that he had before the apocalypse. He knew what kind of person Carl was. And we saw that Carl tried to remember the lessons that his mother taught him. And, and Carl had that first grade, second grade, whatever, third grade, those Christmas parties, those birthdays. Right. And that's something that he's going to lose now. Because now he has Judith, and obviously Judith is a child, and we saw Judith playing with dolls. We saw her having some kind of normal childhood um, pre-apocalypse, but wait until she gets older and she has to fend for herself. And she'll never know really what it was to live before all the hate and all the death and all yeah, the... Yeah, so it's, I just, it's a very it's, interesting thing, which is why... Yeah, you know, it's, a you big can, lo- it's gonna be a big loss for, yeah. for Rick. And I don't... I, go ahead, I yeah. Yeah, I don't think Negan stands a chance much. much I just—that's what I'm saying. I just—I just, I, I just wanted to end, and I personally, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't. I mean, we about, have a, about, we have a couple of months, so what, call, call you mean dying? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the show. Like, I don't know. I I don't know where where the show is going to go now without Carl. Not that not that he was a linchpin, but I I I considered him like you know, like you said, he's part of one of the originals. So I don't know, man. I I just I don't like it. I'm not. I'm not. I a guess fan that of old. Man, I guess all that art, man. We did the video about old man Carl. Yeah. And, and I guess that's obvious. I guess that's not happening. Nope. Um, maybe it'll be uh, old old woman Judith or something. Yeah. You know. Knows. It's. Uh, it was in the end. Um, I'm kind of. I was excited about it, and I'm hoping um, that we have uh, another eight great episodes for the the next half well we'll see so uh with that guys uh those of you watching and or listening why not tell us what you think you can either write yes. down in those comments <laughs> you could 
You could, um, you actually go to thirdpersonpod.com. I don't think we've ever mentioned that actually, but you can get us at thirdpersonpod.com. Yes. Uh, <laughs> where the where we where the audio version of this is posted, and um, you can you know you can put comments on there if you wanted to, or you can yeah. comment down below or anything like that. Of course. Uh, where else can they get to us besides down below? Well, down below they can get us YouTube. at Third Person Pod mm-hmm. on Facebook and of course on iTunes, um, Instagram. Uh, excuse me. We're going to be posting a lot of cool stuff too. I got a lot of cool pictures that I want to, some images that I want to post up there for you guys. Yep. But yep. always, always reach out to us. We love getting the comments from you guys. We love answering the the questions, of course. And um, look for a Q and A video. I think we will end up getting a Q and A video up uh, within probably the next week. So if you guys have questions for that, um, throw them in the comments uh, below in the video. Yep, definitely. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, we, we love the support. We love you guys. And uh, again, let us know what you thought about this finale. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't, let us know. That's it. Yeah. We'll see you on the next video we do for whatever the heck we're going to be doing. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, have a good holiday. And yes. uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.